Okay, going live. We're usually live like a second before it says that, so I'm probably live. We're live. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Is the lighting okay? Is the audio okay? Can you hear me? Kind of give me a thumbs up. Um, I'm going to take a second to just go through and say hello to everyone. I know you call me Motion. That's okay, too. I'm just going to go through. Hello. Hello, everyone. I'm, I'm going to take a second to go through. Um, hello, Coral. Good to see you. Petra. Hello. Hello, Lynn. As always, good to see you. Hello, Joe Dottillo. Good to see you. Um, Ford, you missed a week of only in my accordion body's nice to be here. All vaccinated. Congratulations. We're starting to see vaccines. Um, the, the light is there at the end of the tunnel. Awesome. Hello, Anne. Hello, Glenda from the UK. Good to see you. Hello, Ford. Um, Jorge, hello. You were first. Hello, Michael again and Anne. Um, I'm just going to go see to, to see if you could hear me. Looks and sounds great. Awesome. I'm just saying hello. Um, good. Just going through. Edna, hello. Where did I stop? Hello, Trevor Knox. Trevor went to high school with Steph Curry, the basketball player. Very cool, Trevor. Hello, David Oliver from the UK. Good to see you again. Uh, good. Hello, Don. Hello, Adrian from East England. We have a lot of people from the UK. That's awesome. Hello, Anna. Um, Anna had a wonderful... Um, I I'll get to it. Anna did a beautiful eyes the buy in a minor key, and it was wonderful. You could see that on the on the monthly challenge, um, or the performance video. I think it was the monthly challenge. Uh, Edna, hello, hello, Claire, good to see you. Hello, Corey, uh, good to see you too. Christian, hello, or Christiane, it's hard to tell. Uh, where is that boy? I'm right here. The coffee machine was on. The the water didn't boil. Charlie, good to see you from Germany. Good to see you. Good to see you, Glenda. We're almost there. Cindy, Cindy, good to see you. Um, hello, Crispy. Good to see you. Wonderful performances too on the website. Hello, Moses. Uh, good, AJ. You got here in time. Dave Perry. Hello. Good to see you, Kim and Brock. Uh, Kim and Brock uh, have a wonderful group. A beautiful Facebook group that you may not know about called, what's it called? The Piano Beginners Facebook group. You could feel free to share the group. They host a Zoom, a beautiful Zoom every Saturday uh, evening, London time, 12.30 p.m. I've attended it once. It's really cool. It's just a good group of people um, talking all things accordion, a good resource. Hello, John Goodwin from the UK. Hello, Ulrich. Um, good. Let, let's start. Sorry. Hello, Olia. Good to see you. Hello, Rob Ryan. Don't panic. Hello. Uh, hello, Jan again. Good. Um, yeah, so this is a roomy space. I like it. It's full of equipment, um, but that's okay. All that matters is the camera and the microphone. Uh, I have a full setup today in that I have my loop pedal set up and my keyboard set up. Um, just to, yeah, just to catch you up. Sorry, let, let's introduce. There's so many things that I want to say and do. Let's take it one step at a time. Welcome. This is a weekly Sunday live stream that we do here. Um, ask questions. I monitor the chat as I play and as I speak. I try and multitask. Uh, I have a list of things that I'd like to cover just in terms of questions that have come in during the week. Um, based on YouTube comments and emails and just things uh, that have popped in my head too. I have two accordions today. I have two brand new accordions, brand new in that they still contain the tag and I have the brand new cases and I think I'm the first person that played them other than the people that built them. So I have a 96 base, 96, 12 times, I think it's 96, uh, 12 times 8. Why, why am I saying 12? There are six of them. So anyways, there are 96 bases on this Waltmeister. And I have a beautiful little 48 base Waltmeister. Again, brand new. The, the plastic is still on it. Uh, courtesy of Martin at Tempo Trend Music. Uh, I stopped by the store yesterday and he gave me these two accordions to play on the live stream. Uh, they're for sale from Martin at Tempo Trend Music. Um, I'm not financially affiliated in any way. I just love playing accordions that aren't mine. The Camillo is right there too. Uh, if you want to buy these accordions from Martin, you can contact him. The info is in the description. This one is for sale for 4,000 Canadian dollars. The small 48 base, I wrote this down, is for 2,600 Canadian dollars. 4,000, 2,600 Canadian. They're brand new from Waltmeister. 
Um, made in Germany. I saw that it said made in Germany somewhere on the accordion when I opened it up. Um, yeah, you can contact Martin. And again, I don't get any commission. I'm not financially. This isn't an, is it an ad? I guess it is kind of an ad from Martin, but, um, but I'm in no way getting any sort of kickback. Good. Out of the way, excuse me. Hello, hello, Komka. Good to see you. The Piano Accordion Beginners Group. Awesome. Hello, Marty Green. And Marty, this does have that new accordion smell. And Marty, by the way, great photo. You look ripped <laughs> on your Facebook. Good. Let's, um, should we start with a song? Oh, I wanted to start with something else. Um, I hope this, yeah, 16 times 6 is 96. This has 16, um, 16 keys. I received a beautiful letter from a learner, from a student, and I, I don't have permission to share, I don't have permission to share it. But, but, this is the, I'm gonna share it. I hope it's okay. I'm gonna omit your name, but it's one of us. Um, so the email reads, let me move it here so I could not have to turn my head. It says, hello, Ronan. Uh, I wanted to pass along this photo my daughter took of me at her house on Easter. The kids were playing outside and I decided to provide some background music for them. The email's titled playing music outside. Uh, thanks to you, I can now play 40 minutes of music with no sheet music in front of me. I'm going to repeat that. I can now play 40 minutes of music with no sheet music in front of me. Uh, this is something I would not have been able to do a year ago. Thank you so much for giving me the tools to play by ear and memorize music. Uh, this old music teacher is still learning new tricks. See you on Sunday, all the best. Oh man, oh man. So obviously I print all the nice comments. The not nice comments I, I reply to, but I don't print them. Um, a, thank you. B, why, why, do I, <clears throat> why do I read these nice comments? Um, a, it's a reminder to me that... It's a reminder to me that we're doing... That, that what I'm doing works. That, that we're doing good things, right? That's always a nice thing. To, to inspire, to contribute, to teach. Awesome. That's, that's a big part of my pie chart. The other thing is, as a learner, wherever you are, um, whatever age you are, and this person attached the photo of playing uh, with, with her kids. Um, whatever age you are, you can learn to to bring out the musicality, I call it. Whether it's called playing by ear, whether it's with sheet music. You, you can learn new tricks, right? Teaching an old dog new tricks is the, is the, the, the phrase. It's super doable. Um, Comments like that kind of keep me motivated and keep me going. That that totally made my day. Good. I wanted to to share that. Uh, Dave Perry, where's that group, please? It's a Facebook group. Uh, feel free to will. Hello, Willers. Uh, good. Hello, Chris Tanner. So let's play. Uh, this accordion has three three sets of reeds. I don't know how to count that. Yeah, two middle reeds. So it has the musette sound. It has a master, so the two middle and a bassoon. Uh, it has the middle clarinet reed. And it has a bassoon reed. Let's play some songs. Um, I just saw Don, Don Graham, uh, posted a new video on his YouTube channel. Congrats, Don. Uh, where do you go to my lovely? Let's play Where Do You Go To My Lovely. Thank you. 
Tell me the thoughts that surround you I want to look inside your head, yes I do When the snow falls you're found in San Maurice With the others of the jet sets And they don't realize where you came from I don't know the words Beautiful song. Uh, hello, Pat from Texas. Hello, hello, Cordy, and to Kevin. I love the song too. Guys, Smalley, it's great to see you. Hello, Larry. Um, yeah, it's good to see everyone. Hello, Segal family. That's Segal. I mispronounced my own last name. Segal family, hello. Uh, it was my nephew's bar mitzvah, Mazel Tov. Let's play a celebratory Jewish medley, kind of like a horror medley. Uh, beautiful, thank you. Let's do it. Let's do it. David Oliver, hello. Good to see you. It's always, it's always good to see you. Let's do a little Jewish medley. Um, good. Um, I'll start with a doina. Chris Concertina, good to see you. Yeah, that's 
for my nephew's bar mitzvah. Happy bar mitzvah, mazel tov, Lev. Um, yeah, just um, a few things. A, it's a really cool accordion. It's a really new accordion. The bellows are tight. Uh, big sound, nice deep bass. Very cool. Um, and then I got lots of wedding stories. So I played in a, a Jewish wedding band for years in my 20s. And, and every, if you've never been to a Jewish wedding, it's really fun. It's a wedding. It's a happy occasion. But there's usually a hora. Just like you've seen on TV and movies, it's people dancing. In, it's like a circle dance. Now, it, it, it's traditionally a high energy kind of thing. You could have a nice slow hora. But in general, everyone's excited. The bride and groom come out. And my, this is the story, so my job as the keyboard player um, oftentimes would be to announce the bride and groom and to play the hora. So, you know, you, 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 right before I show up and I go, what's, what's the bride and groom's name? It's like, oh, it's this and this and the last name that I don't know how to pronounce and everything's happening at once. So you go introducing for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Kate and Ronan Segal, Mazel tov! <laughs> And it's so much happening because you want to sync with a drummer and the accordion player and the thing. And the main thing is the tempo. So you don't start with a doina. You start with a drummer going one, two, three, four. And you're there for 10 to 30 minutes. And just like when you play any other sort of gig, whether it's a cocktail party or an event, you're constantly monitoring people. And you're monitoring the tempo. Not only are you looking at the bands to see, am I in tune? Am I playing the right chords? But you're looking at the bride and, not the bride and groom. The bride and groom are having the time of their life. The, the parents, if they're there, and some of the older people. Because oftentimes we were told, A, too loud, or slow it down. You know, I love playing... Um, uh, <laughs> But they're going in a circle, and the faster you play, the faster the circle's going. So you have to control the tempo. And we were constantly, not constantly told, eventually we learned, but it's a game of how fast do you go. Lots of young people, go for it. Like, press on the gas. You're going, you know, 180 beats per minute. A little bit slower, maybe after that you slow it down a bit. <laughs> And then you turn it into another song that's a bit faster. So you're kind of playing with people, literally playing with people and playing music with people uh, that are dancing. It's really, really fun. Um, yeah, awesome. So that was Havana Nagila. We did a, a tune called Yifrach. It will blossom. Uh, and then we did um, Simen Tov and Mazel Tov. Uh, all Jewish celebratory songs. Thank you, Chris B. Thank you, Irene. And thank you, David Oliver, too. That's very lovely. Thank you. Uh, it means a lot. I appreciate it. Um, have an Aguila, good. Ma Mariana, hello. Chris Concertina has a wonderful YouTube channel where he... You, you should check it out. He, he does three or four different tracks together with accordion, a concertina, um, a beautiful, like a harp-like instrument. Really cool. Check him out. Good. Let's do Squeeze Box of Delights is a wonderful name um, from the UK. I'm just going to drink coffee and I want to move the accordion away. Uh, again, the accordions are for sale. Uh, contact Martin if you'd like them. Yeah, or set the new accordion on fire. Good one. Um, good key for you to sing. And yeah, that's that, that somehow worked. Hello, Scotia. Scotia, I was thinking of you when I picked up this accordion. Uh, this is a small 48 bass Waltmeister. Uh, two sets of reeds. It has the beautiful musette and then just a single. Does that mean two sets of reeds? Yeah, it has two clarinets. You can either play one or both of them. Good. Um, Scotia did a wonderful March challenge. It feels like I'm wearing it too high, but I think it's just a small accordion. Um, Scotia did a beautiful take on me using a small accordion like this. And the octave challenge, you don't get many octaves. You have the range of B, a B to B. So you can play it in G, but anyway, Scotia did a wonderful job. Good. Uh, Olia, thank you. Guy, thank you very much. Thank you. 
Hello, Jaime. Jaime? Jamie. Let's play this accordion now. Um, that's really similar to a little 48 bass honer. Yeah, so this is brand new, but it's it's still 48 bass. Let's, let's, um, good. Uh, where's my live stream questions? Good. Oh yeah, so Anna. Um, Anna's on the chat, did a wonderful version of Eyes the By, right? What a big sound, I'm in G major. To a minor and it was wonderful and I had to do like a double take like is that eyes to buy in minor so she did um, yeah they might need other straps and is this called the pearl Waltmeister pearl 48 you're right that's that's a misspelt pearl Perle, P-E-R-L-E, -E, the Wattmeister Perle, Pearl. Um, good, so I wanted to do Ronan, I figured out the melody for summertime yesterday in just a few minutes by ear, my fingers seem to know where to go. Nikolai, amazing, congrats, that's huge. So, so I have a note here that says, let's try and take a minor song and make it major. Why? Just because. Uh, what's that song, Live in Polka? Let's take live in polka and make it major. There's, let's do it together. I'll, oh, I don't know if I could share my screen. Sorry, this might not work. I see that it's not working. I should be able to fix it. There, so, um, I guess we could take summertime and make it major as well. Um, so I wanted to do live in polka, but major. So, live in polka and a minor is, let's choose a key, D minor. Sure, so D minor, D minor, to C, to D minor, stay in D minor, to C, to D minor, this happens twice, and then D minor to the C, C to D minor, D minor to the C, C to D minor. This is, I, I don't know how to pronounce the name, might be, Ivan Polka, Liven Polka, I don't know what how to pronounce it. But these are the chords. We might make them a little bit fancier. Uh, is that true? First section is correct. Now I'm on to the next one. So this is, you know, do this twice. Uh, this is, oh, times two. And this is times two, if you want to play at home. So to turn this into a major, I'm going to take the D minor and turn it into a major. And I might leave the C as is, or I might change it into another key. Let's see what happens with this. So turning a song from a major into a minor is not just, oh, I'll take all the minors and turn it into majors, because I'll play it and it may not work. It's an exercise in written form, but it's just, but it's an exercise in what you deem to be a major song. So if I was to sing, La 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 la. Let's turn that into a major without the left hand, right? Right, there's the difference between a D minor and a D major. Let's switch back to the main camera just so you could see my fingers. But keep, keep that in mind in terms of we've turned the D minor into a D major. D minor, D, F, and A. D major is just one note difference. Instead of the F, we're doing an F major. So it'll be instead of 
we could do it as now the next let's keep going so C major let's try and do it with both majors and let's see if it works right it could be right if I play it maybe it's okay it works but I feel if it 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 doesn't it doesn't resonate to me like live and polka does what does sound better is now that's stuck in my head it does work with an A minor let's do that instead so what Konka said rightfully so is instead of the C this is usually an A minor right so the minor song and that's how I have it notated on the site what happens if we do a major to a minor I like that let's leave that so it's a D a minor D I, I like that more so than the C version. Actually, they're both kind of nice. an easy example of turning a minor song to a major song it, it, it was an easy example but but a cool one um, good I'm just going through the chat really quickly to see any questions and things just guess good um, let's take another example like summertime just because so summertime we said was oh I'm still sharing my screen sorry about that uh, summertime same keys D minor a D minor G minor a I'll play the song in a minor key and then work through it into a major Let's do it in G major. Bye. 
until that moment there ain't nothing can hurt you swear to your mommy and daddy standing by back to the original summertime and the living is easy fish are jumping and the cotton is high your daddy's rich and your mom is good looking so hush little baby don't you cry so hush little baby don't Kind of worked, kind of didn't, but that's the that's a cool idea. Anyways, to go back to Anna, Anna, you did a wonderful job on the March challenge. Um, oh, we've been sharing a screen the whole time. That's fine. Let's go back to the live stream. Uh, Ari, hello. Just wondering, when you say that you change from a minor to a major, is that on the left hand that you play the bass? Wonderful question. Both. Um, I change it both of my right and left hand. Both have to happen or you'll create dissonance. Mary had a little lamb. Let's take the simplest example. Mary had a little lamb is C major on both. Major, major. If I turn one of them to minor, let's just turn the left hand to minor and keep the right hand major, you'll hear that dissonance. This remains an E natural. The, f the E... This remains an E natural. The C minor though has an E flat. It could work in certain bluesy, jazzy contexts, but not. When I switch a song from a major to a minor, both hands switch. And if we do the opposite, let's take another song to clear our minds. Here comes the sun. Da 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 da. Right, G major. This has multiple things. Let's try a different bass sound. Beautiful. So uh, here comes the sun. Let's keep it major in the left hand, but on my right hand, I'll play a G minor instead. Ah, not quite, versus if both of them are minor. comes the sun, doo 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 doo. Here comes the sun, and I say it's all right. Doo 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 doo. You get the idea. Good question, Ari. Uh, hello, Don Graham. We played uh, Where Do You Go To My Lovely. Donald Graham has a wonderful YouTube channel. I think it's just your name. You can uh, share it, uh, others, you can YouTube it. Uh, Guy said, Adrian will be traveling this coming week, but leaving the accordions behind for a little break. What a good idea. Um, I, I agree with Guy and I agree with Adrian. We need a break every now and then. I shared this, um, I think a few weeks ago when I said, uh, I used to travel back to Toronto for work before the pandemic. And, um, and I used to leave my accordion at home. Um, Sometimes I, I would film in Toronto and so I would pick up an accordion there, but that break from the instrument did two things. When I came back, it was the most wonderful thing to just play a piano again, to play the accordion. It was like a brand new instrument, just to, to refresh and recharge your connection to your instrument. But two, in Toronto, I, I walk around a lot. Um, my head would be full of songs that needed expressing. So I would whistle a lot and sing to myself. Um, that guy that's wandering the streets, you know, singing to himself uh, is probably an accordion player without an accordion. But uh, yeah, just refresh your mind. This is, for me at least, having an instrument nearby and we have instruments all over the house means that as soon as I have an idea, oh, there it is. 
while sometimes maybe the idea needs a little bit of time to percolate, sometimes the thing that comes out isn't isn't the, the fully formed thing. It's nice when ideas sit around, even musical ideas in, in your head. So awesome guy. Yeah, and Chris, uh, Chris's grandpa used to call those little accordions strollers because you could stroll around with them. And Chris, I think you have your grandfather's accordion, right? Um, Chris shared a really cool story on the forum. When I say the forum, um, let me show you the forum. I think a lot of you are on the forum, but if you're not, uh, the Accordion Love Forum, a community forum for Accordion Love members and guests. That's wonderful. Um, there's an introduce yourself section that's lovely and wonderful where you, I think a lot of people from this chat, you could just learn about other learners. And every month we have a wonderful uh, monthly challenge where we take a musical idea or principle and we, we apply it. Um, I did want to talk about the April challenge. Who was it? Um, someone, oh yeah, uh, Chris, another Chris, Chris N, not Chris B. Chris, you inspired me I have it in my notes. So Chris did, uh, this is open for anyone to view. Um, Chris did a wonderful challenge where he uh, accompanied himself, right? So he did like a, I don't know how. I'm gonna do what Chris did. So Chris did a wonderful blues challenge while accompanying himself. Uh, so check it out. That's what I wanted to say. And awesome. Uh, I'm happy that the April challenge is getting some entries. With the challenge, if you enter six times over the course of a year, Accordion Love members, I'll send you an Accordion Love t-shirt. Um, and if you enter it 12 times in a year, 12 out of 12, you get a special prize that I'm still working on. I'm still trying to figure out a good, a good thing to send to those who are 100% committed. Um, <laughs> Good, let's work with a loop pedal. I have a full setup here and, and I wanted to, to show you it. Um, so I'm putting on my headphones just so there's no feedback. L let me show you what this is all about. I'm looking down because the loop pedal's there and I'm not quite great at activating it. Um, let me show you what the loop pedal is about. The loop pedal, and let me know if the sound is okay. So the loop pedal means I'm playing something. C major. I'm gonna loop that. So I'm gonna press my foot down um, and it'll start looping. So I start to play a little bit before the loop. And now it's looping. And now I can play over it. Right, C major seven if you're at home playing. And now I can record more tracks over that original one, like this. It's gonna record. See, I recorded my voice too, and I removed what I just recorded. What I like about it is it's an instantaneous way of working on something. For me, it could be, oh, I want to write a song in C major 7, like that C major 7. Let me record a quick oom papa loop it, and right away, that track is down. Some people have that workflow down with their computer, but as much as possible, I like, I work in front of a computer all day, as much as possible, I like to essentially look outside rather than a monitor. So the loop pedal plugged into an amplifier headphones lets me do that. So let's, I, I'm, if, if you're on the chat and you heard that, was it clear, was it echoey, was it too muddled, let me know. Thumbs up, thumbs down, and uh, and I'll build a little loop. Um, yeah, and excuse me, that 48 bass, I did a little lesson about, I don't think it was called size, doesn't matter. 
but uh, why small accordions are awesome. Uh, for that same reason, if I'm going over to the neighbors, I'm taking the small accordion. Uh, thanks for reply. Awesome. Yeah, it is a nice Sunday. Very excited to report. I figured out my waltz rhythm this week. <laughs> Kathleen, congratulations. That's huge. That's, it's a big step to sync the right and left hands. Uh, for those of you that, that um, are having trouble syncing your hands, oh, now I'm logged in. Um, there's a wonderful, uh, the guide to, let me show you what to Google. Let me share my screen. If you Google the hand to the guide to hand coordination accordion love, the how to guide to coordinating your hands on the accordion. Um, this is a really cool guide. If you're having trouble with hand independence, like on a Walt, this is a step-by-step -step process. I think with examples at the bottom, yeah, how to coordinate your hands. It's doable and it's a huge step. I think I opened the guide by saying this is the most asked question that I get. The single most asked question I hear from my students is how do I coordinate both my hands together on the accordion? Congratulations, you did it. Um, yeah, Google that and, and you'll find the guide. Um, let's do it, good, okay, good. There was a thumbs up, let's do a loop. Let's do, I don't loop entire songs just cause um, we can loop an entire song too. But let's loop uh, two chords. Um, when I'm alone, I loop entire songs. But on, on, let's start off easy. Let's start with a C major to D minor. Uh, one, two, three, one, two. Should we do a waltz? Let's not do a waltz. Let's do a... And... So it's a C major to D minor. And now I can do whatever I want, right? If you're looking to get into looping or getting into what do you do, right? Um, I have a section called uh, on Beyond the Basics, how to bring musicality and improvisation into your playing. I'm gonna play a C major and a D minor. That's all. And I'm just gonna start playing around with them. So C major. D minor. Till I find something that I like. And then I'll loop that in. a lot, but that's okay. Let's bring in something at the low end. That's cool. I'll pause there. Um, give me a minute to just play around with it. I'm actually gonna take my Camillo because I'm more familiar with its sounds. Um, but that was fun. Uh, that was fun exploration of what sounds nice to me. Um, those high repeating notes, I would use them again. Um, three accordions in one live stream, what a treat. Um, Let's do that again. I kind of like the exploration of those lower sounds. 
let's do different keys. Let's do something that I don't usually play. Let's do B flat to A flat. Good. I don't know if my accordion is fully tuned, in tune, but let's try it. Good, let's delete the last loop. One, two, three, four. Let's see if we got it in time. Dun, 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 dun. Let's redo that. Just because the loop didn't, uh, it wasn't perfect. One, two. Let's try and find some harmonies. Sounds nice, I might add my voice. That sounds good to me. Let's put Musetta Cordy on top of it. Hello, Evo. That's a lot. So, sorry if it's too much. It's a c cacophony, is that a word? It's a lot of sound, but for me, as the person making that sound, it's a playground. It's a playground full of paints and, and tools in my toolkit that I'm practicing. In my, the, the only notes that I was using, the, 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 let me share my screen, the, the big silly song, you know, big silly song. And I mean silly in a good way. I don't mean to, to put down my music. The keys were B flat to A flat, right? That could have been a D to a C. It's a step down. Um, I'm using the, the notes of that chord, B flat, D and F. And the A flat was A flat, C and E flat, right? B flat, D and F. Da -da -ba 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 -da -ba -ba down to A flat. Da -da -ba 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 -da. Down here, I tried ta da da da. Right while this was happening. And then my voice went to. It went. It was a combination of these notes. I chose these two, ooh ah, ooh ah. And then the recorder, again, that's why I was closing my eyes. I'm like, what makes a B flat and how do I do it? Because I'm not comfortable with this instrument. It's a toy, but it was a B flat. To a C, because I know how to go from a B flat to a C. 
And again, it might be a lot to listen to, but this is what my practice looks like. My practice is someone who understands chords um, and I have lots of little musical instruments. It just, it's like mixing a salad and throwing in peppers and throwing in uh, cheese and all sorts of things. And that means that when it comes time to playing with someone, I know that this will sound good. Cool, that, that's awesome. So that's what the loop pedal allows me to do. You don't need a loop pedal to get started. You have a voice recorder on your phone that can loop. On Android, it's called Voice Recorder. On Apple, I'm sure you can find free tools and I'm sure there's a voice recorder as well. Um, yeah, just, it's such a cool tool. If you don't have that, YouTube backing tracks. I, I'm a big uh, supporter of backing tracks because it's a professional band doing that. And to connect it back, um, who was it? Thank you, Lynn, that's very wonderful. Um, thank you. Um, Chris N. did a beautiful loop pedal cover of the blues. Um, and let me show you what that's like while, while I have the loop pedal connected. Um, so I have, I have my uh, keyboard set up and if I don't move my water, it will fall. Sorry. Okay, so let's find, um, sorry for turning my back. Can you hear that? I think so, right? That's like a little bass line. Um, Emily is, uh, is a new student and she was asking about the left hand of the blues. The left hand of the blues is on, um, I wanted to screen share. The left hand of the blues I have here is something called um, left hand blues pattern, accordion lesson. And this is the close up of the fingers, right? It's... <laughs> That's a difficult thing for me to do, and that's a thing that I can loop, and that's what Chris N did with his loop. And I think Mia, Mia, you did your full challenge with that. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do on the keyboard. And again, I'm sorry for turning my back. I know it's not a nice thing to do. I had a multi-camera setup, but I didn't have it ready for today. So um, we'll loop it. Uh, we'll do it in C major. One. Uh, yeah, I could do right hand too. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, we got it. And you could hear my voice going to two to two. Good. So that's my blues backing track. That's all I need. And now I can omit my left hand, right? And this is a 12 bar blues, so in C major. So what can I do here? It's a little bit quiet, but I'll play quietly. I could play the blues scale in C major, right? <laughs> Is that right? G. I think I doubled it up. So it's not quite the blues. I'm not really feeling it. But the cool thing is we could start looping that. So we have that bass pattern down. Sorry, it's not it's not a great example, but let's keep keep with it. So let's add our right hand padding.
So now I have more of a backing track, right? what I encourage you to do with backing tracks. That's what that April challenge is. It's playing along to a backing track. You don't have to make your own backing track. YouTube uh, accordion uh, C blues backing track and you'll be able to do it. Um, it's a really, really, really fun way um, to get into playing. And as you can see with me, I'm not very good at it, but it sure is fun, a fun creative way of doing music. Um, Cool. Oh, it's all here. Awesome, Doug. Great. I can't hear the backing track. Sorry, it was very weak. Uh, nice work. I've watched a lot of your videos, but this is the first time I watched it live. Hello, Yu Sheng. Good to see you. Whoa. Okay, hey, good. Uh, let's do some songs. Um, 48.96, Left Hand Blues. Um, should we do some music? Blues Challenge. Um, Good, again, these aren't my accordions, they're for sale. Thank you, Martin, the Tempo Trend Music. Let's do, um, let's play more music, you know what, let me. I only have so long, let's play a nice new accordion. Um, what type of looping pedal do you have? Mar Ma Ma Marika, you always correct me on how to say your name and I never say it correctly, I'm sorry. I bought a Boomerang three phrase sampler but I had a very basic looper. Um, the Bo Boss or Bose? Boss RC1. Um, I had a red Boss RC1. You can go back a few live streams when I used it. Um, <clears throat> and it was wonderful. I just bought this one because it allows me to loop three tracks at the same time. So I could have... Uh, I could have drums on one, I could have a verse on one and a chorus on the other. Uh, truthfully, I've just been using it using one track. Ooh, beautiful. So I would love to loop that. Let's do that. Let's, let's just mess around for a while. Um, one, two, three, da, da, da. If the timing is right. Let's do that again, just so it's at the right time. One, two. I think I missed it too, but that's okay. Let's go with it. So that's a G major seven to an A minor. did that, it was a lot. I am hearing myself over the headphones. Um, 
So in my mind, I'm thinking G major 7 to A minor. So G, B, D, and A, C, E, right? So I'm gonna try them. Yeah, that sounds nice, let's loop it. You could hear where the I play the wrong note, the minor instead of the major. under the voice. <laughs> I, I, I get a huge kick out of it. Um, it gets overbearing very quickly, but again, I'm not making a track to record. It's just like, oh, that sounded cool. If the camera wasn't rolling, I do a lot more voice work of, in terms of like, and that's a cool rhythm. So when it comes time to write a song, I'm like, hey, that G major seven, to an A minor, seven beautiful chord combinations. Write it down. If I was ever tried a track, then we could arrange it. This is just like, oh, the da, 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 da. You saw it took me a little bit of time to figure it out, but. That sounds cool. So if I was ever working with a horn player, I would say, hey, can you do the Ba, 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 which is really the triad, right? It, it, it all connects to what we're learning here. Um, cool. So, um, awesome. <laughs> and I see you're sharing when you started learning instruments. Yeah, the earlier you start, I think the better. Let's finish off with uh, a little polka improv. I'm always Alex Meix Meixner. Alex Meixner. Uh, and introduced me to him. He's a, I think he's a polka king. He's just awesome. He brings so much joy and energy to his music. Um, and he, every time I listen to Alex, I, I try and I don't play along. I love his performances. I try and fake it. And so I've been trying to fake polkas for a while. Let's let's try it. Um, cool. Let's do it in an E major. I've never heard a polka in E major. Let's do it. Um, 
Marika, it's all being recorded through these two microphones. Into the loop pedal. Disorder, right? Almost like a polka. Uh, we have seven, six, five minutes left. Um, thank you for coming. Um, let's. Yeah, we have five. We have five-ish minutes left. We do this every Sunday. I want to thank Martin for these two accordions for letting me borrow them. They're both for sale. They're both wonderful, brand new Waldmeisters. The cases are there. I unwrap them and put on the straps myself. I try to make it correct. Um, yeah, c come join us. I, I hope I got to your questions. If not, uh, Ronin at AccordionLove.com. I have a note here to play Old Boy Waltz. Let's play the Old Boy Waltz. And um, yeah, I, I run a website, AccordionLove.com. You can sign up for a free three-day trial. Cancel at any time, risk-free. Uh, a lot of... I, I, I teach how to play accordion there. Beautiful. Hello, Janice. Good to see you. Happy birthday. Happy belated. Let's do a lighter sound.
not feeling it. That's fine. Um, <laughs> awesome. Thank you to everyone that, that showed up. Thank you, Bull, uh, Bert, and Ulrich. Yeah, that was a wonderful song. Um, yeah, I'm excited. So just to catch everyone up, yeah, I've moved into this new shed. Um, it's a combination shed and office. Um, the coolest thing about it is just I, I work my nine to five job here is having this window that's closed right now. I've been working in my little cave for five years, which has been wonderful, but to have a window is so cool. Um, natural sunlight, right? Who knew? Um, that's been a big, a big cool thing. And then um, having a separate space from, from the house, this is 10 steps away, but, uh, but it's been really cool. I'm very good at distracting, my, distracting myself with dishes and helping Kate with the boys. She doesn't need it, but you know, just, just that's, that's what happens. And over here, I still go in to do dishes and to help with the boys, but it's just when I shut this door, this is a space that's dedicated to, to work and music. Um, and so it's really cool. Uh, I've never had my own separate space and it feels really cool. Hello, Hinkley Online, uh, count, counseling online. Awesome. Thank you, Don. This is where a loop comes in well. I love that. I can't do anything. Both of my hands are occupied. So let's loop it. I'm just gonna keep going for a few more minutes until I hear Kate and the kids. So that's looping. I don't know what key this is, so I'm just gonna noodle around. It's like a D major seven. Thank you, John. If we get voice, that's okay too.
Anyway, super, we're overloading the track, but again, lots of musical ideas. I like that boom, boom, ba, boom, boom, ba. So if we were to start a new track, we would just do do, 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 da. Uh, Glenda, thank you for coming. And yeah, the dedicated studio is really cool. Thank you, hello, my mom is here. Um, again, just a really fun playground. Uh, however you play, I hope this session inspires you. I hope to see you next week too. Um, I think I'll be taking a few Sundays off. I think I'll be moving the live stream throughout the summer around. Um, yeah, just to spend some time with family. It'd be cool to, I spoke with Kate last week and she's like, hey, it'd be cool to have you some Sundays. And I said, it'd be cool. I love doing this. It, it enriches my life. I, I think it enriches your life too, I hope. Um, but I'll let you know ahead of time. If you're on the newsletter, great. If not, send me an email. I'll, I'll type my email, ronan at accordionlove.com if you'd like to be on the newsletter. Um, yeah, check out accordionlove.com, free three-day trial where we discuss everything about musicality and becoming more musical and bringing music into your life. Thank you. Uh, I hope you're well. Um, see you next week. Bye-bye. Uh, Doug, the studio is... I'll, I'll send you a photo. It's half of this shed. It's 12 feet by 10 feet. 12 feet by 10 feet. Yeah, but th this is it. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you, everyone.